Hello fans, welcome to Mero True Life Story. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. As you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name, inshallah. And for those of you that have subscribed, I pray may God grant you your heart desire this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. My lovely fans, <laughs> when we thought that we've seen it all, when we thought we've heard it all, <laughs> this court case is going to expose the true identity of everybody in the Edoche family. My people, wonders shall never end. <laughs> it don't happen, it don't set. I beg before I go on with this video, please watch this video from the beginning to the end. Please, so that you will understand every details. <laughs> wonders indeed, they say, shall never end. So, as you all know that, yesterday, they went to the courts, and the court has postponed another, the court has put another date. They postponed the case. <laughs> Nigeria for you. So we all know our, our justice is in Nigeria. That case <laughs> can even go up to two years, three years. So according to what happened in the court yesterday, Yule Edoche did not get it funny at all. Because Yule Edoche, it was a very tough one for him. Because... Since then, Yule Edoche has been misbehaving in the courts. The case was still going on. But unfortunately for Yule Edoche yesterday, Yule Edoche was treated. <laughs> treated the way he has been treating the case. Even the case yesterday, there was a delay because of Yule Edoche. I saw my video. I told you guys that Yule Edoche, the lawyer couldn't reach up to Yule Edoche. So the case was a little bit delayed. But what Yola Edoche did not know that all this in Yamayama anyhow character is among the things that make them to go against him in the courts because he never obeyed the time. Sometimes he's not present. He just take it for joke. So after what they did to Yola Edoche yesterday in the court, they said Yola Edoche has reached out to his father, Peter Edoche. Yola Edoche told his father that this is what happened in the courts. That what he see is conspiracy that may Edoche have gathered enough people and she has bought everybody in the courts. <laughs> so, according to Yul Edoche, Yul Edoche told the father that he was surprised the way May Edoche came to the courts. She had those people with connections. She was followed with like people that came with her some somebody came with an escort <laughs> so yola edoshe told the father that the may edoshe they are seeing now is not the may edoshe that they used to know so let's know that yola edoshe and may edoshe the only place they see their self face to face is no other place than in the courts so according to the information yola edoshe was surprised to see may edoshe yesterday a coming out a class people around her so Yule Edoshi was kind of shocked. Yule Edoshi never believed that May Edoshi has upgraded to this extent. Seeing the way May Edoshi came and what happened to him in the court, instead of Yule Edoshi to use this brain <laughs> to realize the damages that he has been causing in the court, instead Yule Edoshi. <laughs> Yul Edoshi believed that May Edoshi has bought everybody in the court because of how he was treated. So Yul Edoshi reached out to his father and he told his father that he don't think he's going to continue with his case. Because according to him, if he dare lose a jamashon, he's going to buy himself. According to Yul Edoshi, Yul Edoshi told the father that the father knows that that a jamashon. There is no way he can lose a jamashon to me Edoshi. That he is going to collect a jamashon, whether they like it or not. Yule Edoshi also told the father that the father knew that he has no permanent place where he did not manage. And there are many in Oba. Juju Austin have two children for him. With the children she brought from her previous marriage, with both of them, how many they be for his house. So Yule Edoshi told his father that they have been waiting so that 
this Ajamashon will be returned back to him. After what happened in the courts, Yole Doshe find out that the way things they go, it look like he's going to lost Ajamashon. So for this reason, Yole Doshe declared to the father, if he lose Ajamashon, if he lose his properties, he's going to buy. Make the father just they prepare, make him not say one of his sons will join the kingdom come. The father said, God forbid. So tell me what happened to the court. So Yola Doshe explained everything to the father. Telling the father that there is nothing there to judge. Because there is one judge that said, always support women. Yola Doshe told the father that me a Doshe with the connection which she get now. She don't buy a lot of people there. That the father should come to his rescue. Or else in go buy. That Ajah Mashon, if they don't give it to him, he's going to buy. So, my lovely fans, the father told Yule Doshe, okay, like Yule Doshe should relax that nothing is going to happen. So, after Peter Doshe finished talking with Yule Doshe, Peter Doshe carried his phone and called me a Doshe. When Peter Doshe called me a Doshe, <laughs> I laugh in Chinese. Peter Doshi told me a Doshi after he greeted her, said, How did the court case go? <laughs> Only asking me a Doshi, how did the court case go? Me a Doshi, the intelligent to match is know that there is something fishing within these people. Me a Doshi told uh, Peter Doshi that your son might have told you something, or your son might have told you everything. That happened in the court. So why will Peter Doshi be asking her instead of uh, Yule Doshi? Peter Doshi said, Yule Doshi have called him, yes. But he wants to know from you also. Because it's both of you that are going to the courts. Me and Doshi said, anyway, the case is being postponed again. Due to some circumstances surrounding the case. So according to the judge... Me Edoshi told Peter Edoshi that according to the judge, the judge said, because of a third party, because of the properties, and because of evidence, the case is adjourned. Peter Edoshi said, Is that so? Me Edoshi said, Yes. Then Peter Edoshi asked me Edoshi, Why is it that you Edoshi said is going to buy? Me Edoshi said, That is not his business. He has, she has nothing to do with Yule Doshi. She and Yule Doshi, they are not living together. They are in separation. Anything that wants to happen to Yule Doshi can never be a problem. She can never be a business. She don't even look to that. She have too many things to, to do than thinking about who won't buy and who won't leave. Peter Doshi said, okay. Peter Doshi told me a Doshi that Yule Doshi reached up to him and told him that it looks like me, Edoshi, has taken over the court with a connection. And according to what is happening right now, it looks like Yola Edoshi is being treated like a second class. Why me, Edoshi, is treated like a first class in the court? Why? Me, Edoshi, told Peter Edoshi that you should ask the court, ask the judge. That will not be a problem. A problem is going to the court for them to divorce she and Yul Edoshi, whether Yul Edoshi is treated like first class or second class, she have nothing to do with it. The only thing she knows is that she went to court for divorce. So anything that happened outside or inside the court is none of her business, especially when it concerns your son, Yul Edoshi. Peter Edoshi told me, Edoshi, me Edoshi, you are playing with fire. You are playing with fire. People are advising you to the wrong paths. If you don't do the right thing, you will come to him, Peter Doshi, crying. That he loves you so much. Peter Doshi told me, Doshi, I love you so much. But the way you are doing things, I do not like it. Me, Edoshi asked Peter Doshi, what did she do that is making you angry? They said, Peter Doshi told me, Edoshi, the first thing I warned you, that this divorce, you should cancel it. Bring this matter home. Let us discuss it. You refused. Now, my son Yule Doshi said he want to buy. Me Edoshi, Peter Doshi. 
Peter Edoshi told me, Edoshi, remember, Yola Edoshi is the father of your children. They said, Peter Edoshi told me, Edoshi, Yola Edoshi is the father of your children. And if anything happened to Yola Edoshi, <laughs> your children will never forgive you. Imagine Yola Edoshi taking his life. That will be upon you. Me, Edoshi said, I reject it. How will you tell her? That if anything happened to your son, it will be upon her. Is your son staying with me? Don't your son have a woman? Do I have any connection with him? If your son, why? You people should go and ask where he's living. And not she, me, Edoshi. Me, Edoshi, tooth beat, Edoshi. I don't have any communication with your son. I don't have anything to do with your son. We only saw today in the court. After the last time we saw ourselves in a court. This is the fourth, very first time again that I'm seeing your son. And if your son said he wants to go and be a RIP, how is it a business? And how is it a problem? Peter Doshi told me, Doshi, that me, Doshi, is the problem. Because this case is going out of hand. That there is no longer justice in this case. Me, Doshi, have bought everybody and is affecting his son. Peter Edoshi told me Edoshi is not fighting because of Yola Edoshi, but rather is fighting because of his grandchildren. Me Edoshi want to turn his grandchildren to fatherless children. Me Edoshi just want to frustrate Yola Edoshi. The father told me Edoshi, I know that what Yola Edoshi did is not good. Yola Edoshi wronged you. Yes, I agree to it. But remember that Yola Edoshi still remain the father of your children. And if anything happens to him, your children will never forgive you. Why go this far? Why do you want to bring him down? Me Edoshi told Peter Edoshi. She never understand where you go. Me Edoshi told Peter Edoshi. She don't understand. How is she going to bring your son down? What has she got to do to bring your son down? Peter Edoshi said. You know, Edoshi said he has lost everything. That he was treated like a second class. All because of you. Why everybody there will respecting you? Me, Edoshi told Peter Edoshi, respect is given to people that deserve respect. If you want to be respected, you respect yourself first. They said, me, Edoshi told Peter Edoshi, if your son is lacking respect publicly, if your son is lacking respect in the court of law, ask your son or rather go and ask the judge what went wrong. If you respect yourself, other people will definitely respects you so peter doshi told me doshi all these things i've been saying you've not yet understand me edoshi said there is nothing to understand peter doshi told me edoshi the best thing for her is to end this court case <laughs> that me edoshi should end the court case let them settle this matter amicably that divorce does not make anything Will not solve anything. Rather, it will bring more problem. They said, Peter Edoshi told me, Edoshi, you are putting your hands into fire. And you know what it is when your hand is on fire. It will definitely burn you. He has advised you a lot of time. But you seem to have deaf ear. That he will not say anything in this matter again. But you let me, Edoshi, but me, Edoshi, should remember. If anything happened to his son. <laughs> if anything happened to you, Edoshi. Me, Edoshi, should get prepared because he is fighting for his grandchildren. He shan't, his grandchildren cannot grow up without a father. <laughs> so, my lovely fans, they say me, Edoshi, told Peter Edoshi. She also lost a son. And she knows the pains of losing a son. And she knows how it is when people mock you when you lost your son. She knows how it is when people tell you that I know, say, my I know that the boy will buy. Fans, me, Edoshi, told Peter Edoshi. That's any action Peter Edoshi wants to take, he can take. Since his son say he won't buy. Because she also know what it is to lose a child. She lost her child and people were saying they know when the child will buy. They know say the child not going to last. <laughs> me, Edoshi said, all these things say she will never forget in her hurry. So she know the pains of losing a child. Nobody should explain that to her. Ah. But one thing she knows is that her son never offended anybody. Her son never caused pains for anybody. 
Her son never did anything wrong to anybody. Yet they buy her son. So if your son buy, it doesn't concern her. If you want to fight people, wait by your son, go fight them. Don't bring the anger to her. She have nothing to do with you, Edoshi. Me, Edoshi, Toothpick, Edoshi. All this old thing remains, this case remains in the court. She know the carry case come out. She's not reconciling with anybody. She's not going to settle with anybody. What she wants is divorce. And that is what she stands on. Hey, my people, the May Edoshi that the family of the Edoshi know years back. It's not the May Edoshi that they know now. Me Edoshi have taken a serious action. When I mean serious action, the woman not smile at all. She is very, very serious. When I mean serious, she is very, very serious with what is happening. Me Edoshi challenge Peter Edoshi. It is not a small thing. Imagine Peter Edoshi claiming that if anything happened to his son, it should be the fault of me, Edoshi. So, can't believe she could be a RIP. Who me, Edoshi, one who responsible? So, my lovely fans, don't grieve for anybody. Me, Edoshi, not grieve for anybody at all. They think it is before where they will try. Use all these threats and everything to, to do to me, Edoshi. Me, Edoshi, not get time. Me, Edoshi, right now, don't tell Peter Edoshi. If your son wants to buy, make it buy. No concern. Right? Like me, Edoshi has really moved to her. She don't really care about what the Edoshi family have to say. All she knows is that they should divorce her. Me, Edoshi has moved on. That is what Peter Edoshi don't know. The woman has already take real action. The woman has really changed. She's no longer interested in this thing called marriage. Even if the Edoshi family seems to try convincing me, Edoshi. <clears throat> me, Edoshi has already moved on. So, my people, leave your comments in the comment section. My lovely fans, this is Mero True Life Story. Please subscribe. For those of you that have been watching my video without subscribing, please subscribe. As you do so, may God bless you. In Jesus' name, inshallah. And to all of you that have subscribed, I pray may God grant you your hard desire this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.